Welcome back to Ozarks Live. We are here with Mackenzie Palmer from the Humane Society. And Mackenzie, who did you bring with you? I brought Kobe today. Kobe? Kobe, <laughs> yes. I like it, Kobe. <laughs> yes, he's super sweet. He's a four-year-old dachshund mix. He's just adorable. We all love him. Mm -hmm. How long have you had him? Yeah, he's only been with us about three or four weeks. Okay. Do you know anything about his story? Yes. So all I know of his story is that um, his previous owners had to surrender him due to them moving. Mm -hmm. um, that's all I know. But he is a super oh. sweet boy in the short so time friendly. he's been with us. Um, <laughs> he's a healthy guy. He's friendly with everybody. Mm -hmm. so, uh -huh. Um, kids and dogs and cats he, he would do great with. He gets along with other pets then, that's good. Yes, he gets along with pretty yeah. much everybody. Yeah, how's his like health? Does he have any like random conditions that we need to know about? No, he's healthy, he's okay. doing good, yep. Um, yeah. He'd be great, you know, in an active home. He likes yeah. running around in our backyard and yeah, playing back there. So that's good, he yeah. Treats. And you know, I feel like four is like the perfect age mm -hmm. because yeah. it's not a brand new puppy, which can be a lot for some people, but it's not an older dog which while those do need to be adopted mm -hmm. at least you you've got a lot of life left with him you yeah. know so there's just like a lot I feel like you can do with with him yeah and he's house trained um like you said he's already got like his basic training all done but he's got a long mm -hmm. life ahead of him so yeah. he'd love to join a family and um have a family just you know come home to yeah the end of the day. absolutely I love that when we you know think about adopting or fostering with you all that you all know their their whole health like you check them out so well mm -hmm. that we know what we're getting into and what they're going to need and you know their personal personality and you do meet and greets too so like you said he gets yeah. along with other animals mm -hmm. so we could kind of sh take him and or put them together yeah. right like yes. how does that work yes so when they come in um they always go through an exam like you said we examine them just to make sure everything looks good and healthy and like get their approximate age and breed and everything like that you know you don't always know when they come in mm -hmm. as a stray you don't have any paperwork or anything so we do and health evaluation, they all get spayed and neutered and microchipped mm -hmm. and up to date on vaccinations if mm -hmm. they aren't already. Um, meet and greets, so how that works is you fill out an adoption application if you're interested in Kobe or any other animal, you'll have that approved and then you can meet the animal. Um, and the dog meet and greet, like you were saying, that's where after you've gone through that stage, um, mm -hmm. if you have a dog at home, you want to see if he gets along with Kobe, yeah. um, we can set that up for you and schedule that. So Which is really cool, yeah. yeah. And I want to I want to ask really fast too, because the, the spade and neutering and the microchipping is a huge deal, and so you guys take care of that, people don't have to pay for that whenever they adopt the dog, or how does that work? Yeah, so that's included in the adoption fee that you pay. Uh -huh. Um, so he, his adoption fee is 175, so that comes with all of his up-to-date vaccinations, yeah, okay. spade and neuter surgery, microchip. Um, I know before I had been at the Humane Society, when I was going through the process of getting my dog neutered, it was like four or $500 yeah. a lot. Oh, right. so like, Plus you have to worry about that. You have to worry mm -hmm. about making sure that mm -hmm. you go get vaccinations and the yes. surgeries and everything. Yeah. So that's already done for you. Yeah, I was going to say. As they're old enough. Yeah, yeah. We, just, uh, we just got a dog that was rehomed and same thing. We had to go and take care of all that. I'm like, man, to already yeah. have that taken care of would have been so nice. <laughs> it would have been nice. Yes. But yeah. looking for a home for him. So if there is someone out there that's interested in adopting him, how, remind people how that process works. Yes, so I would go to our website and fill out an adoption application. We have a dog one there, so you can fill that out. Um, it just lists, you know, what you're looking for and um, seeing if it'll match up with what he's looking for. <laughs> what he what he's, for. You know, we try to do our best to match up to the needs of the adopter and the animal. Yeah. Um, so once that is approved, so you can come in person and we'll go over that with you, or you can fill it out in person. We'll go through it with you at the shelter, and then you can meet them. And as long as everything goes well, you can take them home the same day. Yeah, so yeah it absolutely. It's about maybe an hour. And you guys, you service so many animals all the time, which mm -hmm. is an amazing thing. But also, I know that means sometimes you need a little bit of help. So remind people of volunteering opportunities and then also any supplies your donations you need right now. Yes, we are always in need of pet food yeah. <laughs> for our community pet food bank. Um, so that helps out people that you know might be going through a tough time and um, we don't want them to have to surrender their animals to the shelter so we'll help mm -hmm. you out and give you some food for free. Um, so dog and cat food always, any brand, any kind, dry or wet. Um, volunteering, we can always use volunteers for our yeah. events um, like the PetSmart event tomorrow. That's, That's tomorrow. run completely by volunteers. Okay. Very cool. So we won't even have staff out there. Um, what are the hours on that by the way at PetSmart? Yes, the one on Campbell, it'll be um, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. tomorrow. To 3. Or, sorry, not tomorrow, Saturday. So you okay. might meet some pets yes. potentially yes. that you might want to yes. out there. Yes. Yeah. All yeah, right. It'll be a McKenzie. fun time. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. And we hope that he finds a really good home. Yeah. Oh. What a sweet <laughs> <guy>. <laughs>